Hi everyone, welcome to this GCSE Foundation Revision video. There's 86 days to go into your GCSE Maths exam, so if you've followed the video so far, good work uh, watching the videos. I really hope you find them useful and hopefully it's going to help boost your confidence. In today's video, we're going to focus on the mean, the mode, the median and the range, so the averages and the range. If you've got the revision cards, these will be useful for you as well. So card number nine is the median, the mode, card number eight, the range, card number 11, and the main, card number 10. And those are revision cards will be really useful for you if you're revising the mean, the mode, the median, the range. And quite, quite useful to get you know, friends or family to test you on those, to remember which one's which. You can stick them up on your walls and so on. But in this video, we're gonna focus on the mean, the mode, the median, and the range. I'm gonna go through so you know, what they mean, give you some questions to try yourself on finding the mean, the mode, the median, and the range. And then also some questions which might be a mixture of different averages and ranges and so on. And maybe also somewhere you've gotta you know, think about in terms of you know, what the possible numbers could be and so on. So let's get started. Okay, so today we're going to be looking at the mode, the median, the mean, and the range. So we're looking at the averages and the range today. And we're going to start off by looking at the mode. So the mode is the value that appears the most often. So for instance, here we've got the number of goals scored in eight football matches, and they were 2, 4, 1, 0, 3, 2, 4, and 2. And if we're asked to find the mode here, what we would do is we'd look at the values and see which one appears the most often. And if you notice here, we've got 1, two, three, twos. Two appears more often than any other number. So that means that two is the mode because it appears the most often. So the modal number of goals scored is two. Okay, next. Next, we're gonna look at the median. So the median is found by arranging the values in order and then selecting the middle value. So for instance, here we've got the number of goals scored in seven netball matches. So we've got 47, 44, 51, 58, 32, 55, and 49. And if we're asked to find the median, the first thing we have to do is we have to put them in order first of all. So that would be 32, that's the smallest. And then 44 is then the next smallest. And then 47, and then we've got 49. And then we've got 51 and then we've got 55, and then we've got 58. So we've arranged our values in order from smallest to largest. Now we need to find the middle value. Now to find the middle value, I like to cross off the smallest and the biggest, the next smallest and the next biggest, the next smallest and the next biggest, and we're left with one in the middle, which is 49. So the median here would be 49. And I just want to show you that sometimes we might have an even number of values. So if, for instance, you had an even number of values like this, where we've got 9, 5, 4, 10, 7, and 1, we want to put these in order, so 1, and then four, and then five, and then seven, and then nine, and then 10, just putting those in order. And if we were asked to find the median, again, I would cross off the smallest and the largest, the next smallest and the next largest, and we're left with two numbers in the middle. We're left with five and seven. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the midpoint or in the middle of those two numbers. So if we've got five and seven, in the middle of those is six. So the median here would be six. And that's it. So if you've got two values in the middle, you find the middle of those. If the two values in the middle are exactly the same, so for instance, if it was eight and eight, the median would be eight because in the middle of eight and eight is eight. And that's it. So we've looked at the mode and we've looked at the median. So the mode is the most common. The median is the middle value once you put them in order. Now let's look at the mean. So the mean is found by adding up all the values and dividing them by the number of values. So here we've got the ages of five basketball players. They're 23, 30, 20, 27, and 30. And to find the mean, what we're going to do is we're going to add them all up and then divide by the number of values. So we'll let's add them up to begin with. So let's do 23 plus 30 plus 20 plus 27 plus 30 and see what we get. And when we add those values up together, we get, we get that's equal to 130. So we've added up all the values. Now we need to divide it by the number of values. So there's one, two, three, four, five values. And the question said there's five basketball players, so there should be five values. So we're gonna do 130 divided by five and 130 divided by five is equal to 26. So the mean age is 26. Okay, and the last thing we're going to look at is the range. Now, the range isn't an average. The mode, the mean, and the median are all types of average. The range is a measure of spread. It measures how spread out values are. So we've got the range is found by doing the largest value subtract the smallest value. So here we've got the number of shots taken in Crazy Golf, 5, 8, 4, 3, 5, 2, and 7. So if we wanted to find the range, we would get the largest value, which is 8, and we would get the smallest value, which is 2, and we would do 8 subtract 2. And we would do the largest take away the smallest, which is 8 take away 2, is equal to 6. So the range of these numbers of shots is 6, and that's it. So we've looked at the mode, which is the most common value. We've looked at the median, and we find the median by arranging the numbers in order and finding the middle value. We've looked at the mean, which is found by adding up the values and dividing by the number of values. And then finally, we've looked at how to find the range, which is the largest value, subtract the smallest value. Okay, so we've now got some questions for you to try. So can you pause the video and try this question and see how you get on? 
Okay, so here are the ages of eight dogs, seven, one, nine, 14, three, six, three, and five years old. And the first question says to find the mean age. So to find the mean, we add up all the values and divide by the number of values. So we're gonna do seven plus one plus nine plus 14 plus three plus six plus three plus five. And let's see what we get. So let's work that out. So seven plus one is equal to eight plus nine is equal to 17, plus 14 is equal to 31, plus three is equal to 34, plus six is equal to 40, plus three is equal to 43, plus five is equal to 48. Or if you've got a calculator, you could do seven plus one plus nine plus 14 plus three plus six plus three plus five, and that's equal to 48, fantastic. So when we add up all the values, we get 48, and now we need to divide that by the number of values. So we're going to do 48 divided by eight and 48 divided by eight would be equal to six. So that means that the mean age is six years old, so six years old. So that's the first part done, and if you got that, well done. Okay, the next question says to find the modal age. So remember the mode or the modal age is the most common age. So sometimes instead of saying the word mode, you'll see modal, it just means the same thing, it just means the modal age, the most common age. And as you can see, three happens twice, and it's the most common, so the modal age is three, three years. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. Okay, so feel free to pause the video now and to give this question a try yourself as well. Okay, so the first part says to find the range of the ages. So the oldest dog is 14 years old, and the youngest dog is one year old. And if we take them away, we get that's equal to 13. So the range of the ages is 13. The biggest take away the smallest is 13. Okay, and then the median age. So we're gonna to need to arrange the ages in order, starting with the smallest. So arranging them in order would be one, and then three, and then three, and then five, and then six, and then seven, and then nine, and then 14. And let's just check we've got eight values. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let's check we've got the right eight values. So one, yes, three, three, five, six, seven, nine, and 14. Yep, and it's very important that you check you've got them all and you check you've got all the right numbers. Sometimes people accidentally, instead of writing three, three, five, they might write three, five, five. So it's important that you write, you know, check you've got the right numbers as well. And we wanna find the median age. So that's gonna be the middle one. So cross off the smallest and cross off the biggest, cross off the smallest, cross off the biggest, cross off the smallest, cross off the biggest. And we're left with five and six in the middle. So the median age would be in the middle of those, so that'll be 5.5 years. So the median age is 5.5 years. So we've worked out the mean, we've worked out the mode, we've worked out the range, and we've worked out the median of these ages. Okay, let's have a look at another question. Okay, so this time we've been given a question that says that Henry writes down the number of letters he receives each day last week. So he received nine letters on the first day, zero on the next day, four on the next day, five on the next day, eight on the next day, 11 on the next day, and eight on the next day. And then says, Henry says the median number of letters that he received last week was five. And we've been asked to explain why he's wrong. So feel free to pause the video now to give this question a try yourself. Okay, so to find the median, Henry needs to arrange the numbers in order from the smallest to largest. So that would be 0, 4, 5, 8, 8, 9, and 11. And let's just check 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Perfect. And have we got the right numbers? Yes, we do. And let's find the median. So cross off the smallest, cross off the biggest, cross off the smallest and the biggest, the smallest and the biggest. And we're left with 8 in the middle. So the median number of letters that Henry received last week was 8, not 5. So explain why he's wrong. Well, the median's eight, not five, and he hasn't arranged them in order. So let's explain that. And that's it. So we've just said the median is eight, not five, and he didn't order his values. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. Okay, so our next question says that Tilly's got five number cards, each with a whole number on it. So she's got five number cards, each with a whole number on it. And the mode of the numbers is four, the median is eight, the range is 11, and the mean is nine. And we're to write down the numbers on the cards. So feel free to pause the video now and to give this question a try yourself. Okay, so if we were doing a question like this, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at these and see what bits of information I can use to figure out some of the numbers. So it says the median's eight. Now, here we've got an odd number of values. So we've got one, two, three, four, five of them. So the median's gonna be this one. And we're told the median is eight, so that one has to be eight. It has to be the one in the middle. So we've used that bit of information, the median is eight, and that it's gone in the middle. Okay, next. We're then told the mode of the numbers is four. So the mode is the most common. Now, if we've got five cards, we need to have then at least two number fours. So that means that has to be a four and that has to be a four because we know we're gonna to have to have two fours and because it's the mode. So we've used that bit of information. Okay, next, we're next told that the range is 11. Now that's what we get whenever we do the biggest number take away the smallest number. So this number take away four is equal to 11. So if we take this number four and we add 11 onto it, that'll tell us this number. And four plus 11 is equal to 15. So this number has to be 15. And let's just check that. 15 take away four is 11. So the range is 11. Okay, and then finally, we need to find this number. Now we're told the mean is equal to nine. So that means that if we add up all these values, 
and divide by the number of values, which is 5, we get 9. Now, we can use that information to find this number, because if we add up all these numbers and then divide by 5 and get 9, if we work backwards and take the 9 and multiply that by 5, the number of values, that's equal to 45. That must mean that these values add together to be 45. So that means we can work out this number here. So let's do that. Let's add up the numbers we've got already. So 4 plus 4 is equal to 8, plus 8 is equal to 16, plus 15 is equal to 31. So adding up these values gives us 31. So that means that this value, well, this must be whatever is in here, must add together to be 31 to give us the 45. So 45 take away 31 is equal to 14. So that means this value must be 14 and that's it if you got this question right well done particularly that last step finding that number it actually it's a wee bit tricky so well done if you got that right i'm really proud of you well done okay let's have a look at our last question now whenever we're dealing with the mode the median the mean and the range one of the things that we can be asked to do is to compare two different groups and that's one of the benefits of working out the averages and the range is to be able to compare things to each other and see how they compare to other groups so here we've got a question we've got class one and class two set a test the mean score in class one is 19.2 the range of the scores in class one is six the scores in class 2 are 13, 11, 25, 18, 24, 19, 22, 23, 25 and 30. And Mr. Beatty said that the students in class 1 perform better than the students in class 2. And we're asked, do we agree? So there's a lot of information here. Now, if you want to try this question yourself, feel free to press pause and try it yourself. Um, in a second, I'm going to do it myself. Okay, so there's a lot of information here. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to make a little table. So I'm going to write class 1 and class 2. And I'm going to write main and I'm going to write range. So I'm just making a little table, and we're told in class one the mean was equal to 19.2, and the range in class one was six. So now let's work out, we've got the list of data, the list of numbers for class two, let's work out their mean and their range. So to find the mean, we're going to add up all the values, so add up all the values, so we get that's equal to 210. And let's work out how many values there are, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're going to do 210 divided by 10, and that's equal to 21. So that means the mean score in class two is 21. So he says that the students in class one performed better than in class two, but actually class two has got a higher mean, so their average is actually greater than the students in class one. Now, the other thing that's mentioned here is the range. That actually just lets us know how spread out the results are. So let's actually have a look at the range in class two just to see what that is. So the largest value is equal to 30, and the smallest value is equal to 11. So if we do 30 take away 11, that's equal to 19. So their range is 19. So whenever we look at this table, the things that I would look at is, first of all, the mean. Class 2, their average is higher than in class 1. So he said the class students in class 1 perform better than in class 2. Well, I don't agree with him because the mean is actually higher in class 2 than in class 1. However, one thing to notice is that the range in class 2 is much higher than the range in class 1. So it means the results in class 2 are more spread out. So what that would mean is that there's maybe some students that have done maybe perhaps a bit worse and maybe some that have done really well and the results are a bit less consistent. Uh, but in this question, we were asked to explain what where we agreed with Mr. Biddy or not. So I'm going to say no. So I said no, the mean for class two is higher than the mean for class one. And that's it. And that's it. So in this video, we're going through the mode. So the most common, the median, the middle value, once you've arranged them in order, the mean, what you get whenever you add up all the values and divide by the number of values, and the range, that's what you get whenever you take away the smallest number from the biggest number, or you work out the biggest, take away the smallest, and that's the range. So we've looked at the mean, the mode, the median, and the range. I really hope you found that useful. It's very important to remember which one's which, so you know, do regularly come back to these and make sure you remember which one's which, get people to quiz you on them and so on. And that's another sort of a useful tip. Whenever it comes to your GCSE maths revision, we have gone through a lot of topics so far, your square numbers, your cube numbers, prime numbers, what these averages are, and the range and so on. You know, do regularly come back to these. So, you know, if you've got the revision card, pin them up on your wall or get people to quiz you on them rate some you know make some little flashcards to quiz yourself with and so on so you know do regularly come back to the things that we've covered and also the things you've done in the class so i really hope you find this video useful obviously three o'clock tomorrow will be the next video for 85 days to go to your gcse math exam so i really hope you find this video useful and i'll see you tomorrow cheers bye